If you guys are looking for the absolute cheapest coins on the internet right now, head on over to my sponsor, AO. EAH.com. They got the cheapest coins on the market. You can get a million for under 50 bucks. Save that money. Make sure to always use code Poodle at checkout to get your additional 3% off. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be going over in this specific portion. I'm going to go over the Turkey Bowl players. I'm going to go over this two of them, which one you should, like, if you're only going to get one, which one to take. And then after I finish that, I'm going to go over the best free 92s to take from, like, the regular and cat auctionable solo portion right because i'm gonna put those together and the second video after this one is gonna be going over the turkey day all-stars right? like the players that are playing on thanksgiving right so just stay tuned there'll be two different videos today all everything will be ranked do not worry but before we get into this video guys if you need coins to pick up any of these players head on down below to my coin sponsor use code poodle if you guys want to go ahead and play some daily fantasy and check out my other sponsor Head over to Underdog Fantasy and use code Poodle as well and use my link will all be down below in the description and get up to a free 100 bucks to start playing and testing out some lineups but Let's head into this. So, first and foremost, guys, there are two players here. We have Ndamukong Kung Su and Emmanuel Sanders. You can get both for free, but some people may only do one. Some people may not like house rules. Some people may just want to get one. So they want to know which is the order, who, who to get first, right? You may, it may take you like a week for house rules. So the one from the Souls is easier. So which one should I go ahead and get first? So start with Ndamukong Kung Su, right? 72 speed, 84 excel, 93 strength, 91 tackle, 92 play rack, 92 block shed, 90 power move, 70 finesse move. Elite power move guy, elite block shed guy. Elite strength, elite play rack, elite tackling, low speed, good excel for a right end. Now, in my opinion, Adam Kung Su is really good. I just wouldn't use him at end. I would put him at defensive tackle. So if you can make the switch to defensive tackle, this is a very good option. But of course, we have to check out our counterpart, which is Emmanuel Sanders. Now, Emmanuel Sanders, 90 speed, 89 excel, 91 catch and traffic. Sorry, 91 catch, 88 catch and traffic, 90 spec, 88 short, 88 medium, 92 deep. Now, it appears that he's a deep threat. Now, when you have a deep threat, you're looking at like 93 94 speed right he's not that so you're gonna if it's a 90 speed you're looking more medium and short he's not get medium or short route running he does not get catching traffic route running which is also what you're looking for in an emmanuel sanders card you're pretty much getting a deep threat that can't burn people so you're gonna have to pretty much just hope that he outruns someone or gets busted coverage or gets a really good route right it's just not going to be a situation where it's looking like he's going to be an elite deep threat so what I would actually recommend here is that even if powered up and chemmed up, he's still only going to be 88, 89 short, 89 medium, 89 catch and traffic. I would, I think Indama Kung Su is the clear winner. He's the threshold where you want him. He can pass rush and stop the run. Put him at defensive tackle and you're golden. Again, you can get both for free, but I don't think you have to push for Emmanuel Sanders. I think Indama Kung Su is the clear cut first one. And then you can go with Emmanuel Sanders second. Now remember guys, if you have a theme team that is different, Emmanuel Sanders and a theme team will hit a little different, right? He has Broncos, Steelers, and I believe Bills, right? But of course, if you don't theme teams, you're going strictly off stats. And Dama Kung Su is the better option. Now with the theme team, though, Manuel Sanders would be really good. So take take that as you will. But that is it for those guys. Get to the 92. So coming in at the final portion of the 92s, I believe there's six, right? Allen Robinson is going to be ranked last for me here. There's just too many things wrong, right? 89 speed off the rip makes most receivers not usable. But again, we have to check out the other stuff. He's a physical wide receiver archetype. First off, that's not that's not the greatest. 89 speed, so he's slow. 92 jumping, 91 catch, 91 catch in traffic, 91 spec catch. So he has great catching. So you have to, you take another look, right? 90 short running, but then he only gets 88 medium and 86 deep, which means he won't run good deep routes. He won't run good medium routes, and he can only run good short routes, which I guess with that speed makes a little bit more sense. I guess like a goal line, slant, box out kind of receiver, but still. See, if you were playing franchise, you could look at this guy and be like, oh, there's a use for Allen Robinson. But when you're playing Mutt, you don't have to like lock yourself into purgatory with your wall. You don't have to be like, okay, well, I'll have Allen Robinson. You can only do one thing for me, and that's like a goal line, a goal line slant, right, or goal line fade, because you can just go ahead and buy like a Calvin or Randy or any other receiver literally in the game and be like, oh, they can do everything. Brandon Marshall, they can do everything. So why lock yourself to a guy like this? I just don't think this is the option. Emmanuel Ogba, great power move guy, decent speed, bad block shed. I think again, similar to the other guys. This is mud. I know he's free, but there's a lot of good left ends at this point that can get both. You have Jalen Phillips off the edge that can do both. There's a lot of guys already that can do both with similar speed. I just don't think this is that good of a card. Kirk Cousins, though. A little bit higher. Now, there's Kirk Cousins has some appeal. 76 speed actually isn't bad speed. Oh, against belief, right? You know, there's the guys with the 88 speeds and the 95 speeds in between there. Those guys can take off when you want to take off. And there's the guys below, like, 83 speed, 76. Honestly, kind of similar. Uh, none of them will be able to outrun an edge guy that's contained on them. None of them will be able to outrun a guy, trace them to the chase them to the out of bounds line. 
but all these guys can do the same thing when there's a pocket collapse or a pocket breakdown or a four verts you have that left side like open for 30 yards they'll take that and get the first right and kirk has enough speed to get the first or at least get you that get you that yardage right like again you're not even if he was an 81 speed right you're not taking off with an 81 speed guy unless the unless it's open and in that case it's like the aaron Rodgers and the old madden's like aaron Rodgers, pat mahomes with the 77 speeds like they, they can get you the yardage it's just not like don't expect them to beat out an athlete but they can get the yardage they, they, they they're not eli or tom brady who they literally move in mud in the pocket like he can actually get it 92 throw power that's actually good for a kirk card that's 93 powered up 92 short really good 86 medium is my one caveat but it is again it's a free kirk cousins card 92 deep that's good 90 throw under pressure that's good 92 throw on the run that's good 94 play action the medium is the only problem here but he does get hot route master so take it as you will hot route master as a free quarterback i can't exactly put it in the last spot or the second to last spot. i guess he gets like the third spot or fourth spot here it's a Darius smith now as a Darius smith Left us all linebackers up here because he actually is a really good pass rusher. Similar to Emmanuel Ogba, right? But he's a bit better of a pass rusher and he's actually a bit more of an athlete with 84, 88. Well, similar athlete. What was the difference here? It was... Oh, one's not outside linebacker, one's an end, you know, of course. And uh, I think Zadari Smith's just a little bit better. Packers team team, of course. I like Zadari Smith better. His cards have typically played really well, which is part of the reason why I have him up here. And his block shed's close. That's the thing. Like, if you have the right strategy card, like a plus two, you can get him to the 90. Emmanuel Ogba, there's just no getting to that 90 spot. So Zadari Smith's going to be my guy here. Again, I don't really like any of these bottom four guys. I think actually I like Kirk the most. Because he's a quarterback, I had to put him behind Zadari Smith, right? Here's where this does get good. Kenny Moore. I believe that's our number two guy. Kenny Moore, 91 speed, 93 excel. For a cornerback out of the slot, that's not bad. Like, for a free card, 93 agility, 90 uh, agility, 93 excel, sorry. 94 jumping, you get 90 play rec, 88 man, 92 zone, 78 press, right? Free corner, though. He was going to be an elite zone corner, and he can get the 90 man. If you have, like, the lockdown strategy card, you're going to get the 90 man with the power up, and his press will get to at least about 80. So, you're looking at a lockdown zone, and man, a, lo a, a lockdown zone guy, a good man guy, a decent press guy when he gets to the 80 and he gets some speed and he's gonna be free he's better and he's a depth position he's the better option and my favorite option frank ragno or ragno however you say his name guys if you guys have following this channel i'm a big big believer in taking free offensive lineman powered up he's gonna be a 93 he's just gonna be a set it and forget it center for quite a while and i like that at a position where you can you just don't like to pay for especially center 90 strength good strength 93 awareness elite 92 pass block elite 93 pass block power elite 89 pass block finesse plus power up 90 elite 90 run blocking elite 90 run block power elite 86 run block finesse which will really be an 87 is your only issue here but he's free set it and forget it frank ragno is the guy i think far and away if you only get you get multiple free ones right remember that again there'll be more releases you have to pick one i think the guy hands down far and away is frank ragno far and away if you don't want the center, I think it's Kenny Moore. And if for whatever reason you're a budget team, like you're just starting Mutt, right? This is where you take the quarterback. If you're just starting Mutt, you have zero coins. You literally can't even like buy a budget quarterback. You take Kirk. You take Kirk. Good quarterback to use for now. And again, if you have no coins and you're just starting, you probably won't be able to upgrade him for quite a while because you have a lot of other holes to fix. And that'll be your guy. Power him up if you can, if you get the coins too, but that's going to be expensive too. He'll just be usable, set it and forget it, guy. If you're just starting Mutt, you go Kirk Cousins. If you have a good team, you go Frank Ragnow. It's just pretty set and forget it there. Guys, about it for the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up, as always. And, of course, comment down below. If you guys want to check out Underdog Fantasy, my link will be down below in the description, as well as my code. Make sure to use it for up to free 100 bucks. And, yeah, if you guys need coins, head on down below as well. You guys know the deal. Thank you for watching. I'm out. Peace.